Welcome to the Computer Science and Engineering Division of EECS. We are so excited you decided to declare with us today. The fast rate of innovation in computer technologies has created many new and exciting opportunities for students with undergraduate degrees in our department. We look forward to working with you for your major declaration. In order to complete the final step of declaration, please be sure to fill out the CSE declaration request form that is linked in the description of this video. And thank you for taking a moment to watch this video in advance. This video will review course planning tools, your curriculum requirements, and several campus resources that will support your success in our program. There are also many people in the CSE UAO, or Undergraduate Advising Office, here to help. This includes both staff and faculty advisors available for scheduled advising appointments, as well as virtual drop-in advising. We are located at 2808 Beister Building. Let's get started with course planning tools. Please take a moment to open and bookmark the links emailed to you, which are also provided in the video description below. The LSA Course Guide, Engineering Bulletin, and Course Profile Atlas will all be helpful to reference as you plan your courses each semester. The Degree Audit Report is also an important document, which allows students to monitor their individual progress toward graduation. You can access this information through Wolverine Access. Log in and select Student Business to find the Student Center tile. Next, click on My Academics and then View My Advisement Report to generate an updated version of your degree audit report, also called your DAR. This should allow you to track your progress in each requirement section, which my colleague will review in more detail now. We will start by reviewing what is referred to as your common engineering requirements. You likely reviewed these requirements with your Engineering Advising Center advisor and will have already made progress in this portion of your degree. Students are required to complete a series of calculus, science, and engineering courses. These courses are required for all College of Engineering students, but will have some variations depending on the major you declare. Data Science and Engineering, or DSNG for short, students are required to receive a C or better in all common engineering courses. You are also required to take Math 214, Applied Linear Algebra, or some equivalent course. If you'd like to discuss alternative options, we invite you to talk to an advisor. Your intellectual breadth requirement is made up of at least 16 total credits of liberal arts courses, commonly referred to as LACs. To learn more about courses that qualify as LACs, we encourage you to review the definition in the Engineering Bulletin on the Core Requirements page. Within those 16 credits, you are required to complete at least three credits of humanities and at least three credits of a 300 level or higher LAC course. Some students are able to satisfy these specific requirements with just one class. You are also able to complete up to four credits of professional or creative development courses, also known as PCDC, for this requirement, but PCDC courses are optional. As a College of Engineering student, you must take all of your common engineering, intellectual breadth, and major required courses in order to complete your degree and reach the 128 credits required for graduation. If it becomes clear that you will not reach 128 credits as you work to complete these requirements, you will then need to take additional courses for credit. General electives are really any course you receive credit for, but do not satisfy a specific requirement. Therefore, the number of general elective credits will fluctuate from student to student. There are some general requirements that all College of Engineering students must complete in order to graduate. You must have completed at least 50 credits at the UM Ann Arbor campus. This includes remote semesters during the COVID semesters. Your cumulative and program GPAs must be a 2.0 or higher. You must complete a minimum of 128 credits. While completing coursework at the University of Michigan, you have the option to take up to 14 credits pass-fail outside of the COVID semesters and use them towards your degree. The only courses that can be taken pass-fail are general elective and intellectual breadth courses. You are not able to take more than two courses 
per term pass fail. In order to declare a major, you must one, be a College of Engineering student, two, have completed at least one full term at U of M Ann Arbor, three, have an overall U of M GPA of 2.0 or better in courses taken at U of M, four, be in good academic standing, and five, completed or earned credit by exam or transfer for at least one course in each of these categories. Category one is calculus, so math 115 or 116, Category two is calculus-based physics lectures, like physics 140 or 160, or chemistry lectures, like chem 130. And category three is required engineering courses, like engine 100, 101, or 151. The DS Eng major requirements include completing a minimum of 42 credits. This does not include prerequisites. All major required courses must be taken for a letter grade and students must receive a C or better to satisfy the major requirements. The core program requirements include EECS 203, EECS 280, EECS 281, STATS 412, and STATS 413. There are multiple ways to satisfy the STATS 412 requirement, so make sure you consult the chart on page two of the DS Eng program guide and or meet with an advisor if you have additional questions. Students are also required to take an approved capstone, machine learning or data mining course, data management and application course, and a data science application elective. In addition to these requirements, DSNG majors need to complete eight credits of advanced technical electives and a minimum of 11 flexible technical elective credits. Excess credits from DS advanced technical elective courses can be applied towards flexible technical electives though students cannot use the same credits towards both requirements. We recommend that you consult the approved list of data science electives and capstones on the CSE website prior to registration. Please keep in mind that there are separate lists for the different requirements, so be sure to consult the appropriate elective list. If you feel like a course has been left off of one of these lists, but encompass similar content slash rigor, you are able to submit a petition for an exception to the Data Science Chief Program Advisor, also referred to as the CPA. Students should submit their request to the CPA prior to enrolling in a course that is not already on the approved list. This major also requires students to take some technical communication and professionalism courses. All students are required to take TechCom 300 and EECS 496. You are able to satisfy the writing and oral presentation portion of this requirement by selecting one course from the four courses listed in your DSNG program guide on page three. Students most commonly complete this requirement with TechCom 497. If you decide to enroll in TechCom 497, you will need to complete this course in the same term or after your capstone course. We'd also like to share some general course planning recommendations with you as newly declared DSNG majors. Due to the rigorous nature of data science courses, we generally recommend taking no more than two four credit EECS courses per term. It may be possible to take more depending on your individual circumstances, but be sure to consider the workload for each individual course. We suggest using the course atlas to learn more. Remember, you are able to add drop courses as needed throughout the first three weeks of classes. This gives you the opportunity to try out a combination of classes and make any necessary adjustments. If you're interested in studying abroad, you should start thinking about it by the beginning of sophomore year so that you can plan your schedule accordingly. And now we will discuss resources to aid your personal and academic success. Michigan's campus offers a variety of resources to support you while pursuing this major. Tutoring is incredibly beneficial in strengthening your understanding of course material, and the CSE department offers tutoring options for many EECS classes specifically. There are individual appointments, group sessions, and some free options, so you can identify which works best for you. The Engineering Center for Academic Success also provides a helpful list of academic resources for engineering students, providing support in a variety of subject areas. The Honor Code outlines the standards of ethical conduct for engineering students at the University of Michigan. Students are responsible for reviewing and understanding the policies established in writing for each course at the beginning of the semester. 
These can vary significantly, so it's important to consult your instructor if they are unclear. We take the honor code seriously to prevent instances of copied code and plagiarized work. However, we do encourage students to support each other in their education and know that activities such as helping classmates with code debugging are common in mere real-world industry collaboration. For more information on what constitutes an honor code violation, you may consult the Honor Council. Your health and well-being is of the utmost importance and should be your number one priority as a student on campus. The Care Center is the central hub on campus to assist engineering students by providing genuine and practical support both inside and outside of the classroom. They can help you navigate many of the mental health support resources we have, including, but not limited to, the following. Michigan Engineering CAPS, the acronym for Counseling and Psychological Services, offers counseling groups for those wishing to explore personal growth and gain awareness to enhance their functioning in personal and academic settings. This is in addition to one-on-one -on -one counseling that CAPS offers regularly to help foster emotional well-being. UHS, or University Health Services, also offers wellness coaching, providing a holistic approach that optimizes wellness for student success via a collaborative, non-judgmental partnership with a coach. It is important to note that wellness coaching is not therapy and cannot fill in for traditional therapy offered by CAPS or other campus and community resources. Thinking about a holistic approach to wellness and your undergraduate experience, we encourage you to explore the student groups and teams offered in CS to get the most of your experience in and outside of the classroom. Research is another great experience to engage in outside of the classroom. We maintain a webpage where students can learn more about undergraduate research opportunities in computer science. You can also review the specific CSE Research Areas page. If you click Learn More for any research area on this page, you'll find a list of faculty doing research in that area with their research website linked. This is a great way to start contacting faculty to express interest in joining their lab or collaborating on independent research. In addition to our support and academic resources, CSE is continually striving to build a more inclusive and supportive environment welcoming people of all identities and backgrounds. These resources to promote inclusion are here to help you find and create a strong sense of community as you navigate your college experience. We appreciate that one of the chief reasons students achieve an undergraduate degree is to prepare them for their future career path. After you declare your major, you will likely start more intensive planning for your future after graduation. Students can meet with advisors in the Engineering Career Resource Center, or ECRC, for assistance in career development and exploration. You can also attend their career fairs and networking events, or access a variety of resources on their website. Thank you for watching CSE's declaration video. Any questions you have can be directed to the CSE Undergraduate Advising Office. We look forward to meeting with you in the future. If you requested to declare your major today, we welcome you to the department. And of course, go blue.